On this week's show, we're rolling on down to Louisville, Kentucky for the annual RVIA Industry Trade Show, where we check out some new RVs and products for 2014. And Jeff Johnston heads to California and check out the new type truck camper from Four Wheel Campers. These stories and more on this episode of Rolling On. Closed and Spanish captioning, where available, is sponsored by Jayco. At Jayco, we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. Each year, usually late November or early December, the who's who of the RV and accessory manufacturers head to Louisville, Kentucky for the annual RVAA Industry Trade Show. This event is for dealers, wholesalers, and retailers and gives them an opportunity to closely look at all the new vehicles and products that you'll be seeing at your dealerships and stores later this year. Unlike most consumer RV shows at Louisville, the manufacturers go all out with large elaborate displays, exhibiting their latest and greatest products to attract dealers and buyers. Let's face it, this show is strictly business and millions of dollars in orders are placed here to fill dealer inventories for the new season. When you see that new 2014 unit at your local RV dealer, you can pretty well bet that it was ordered here. At this year's show, there was an abundance of new interesting vehicles, from large Class A motorhomes and diesel pushers to the smallest of camping and travel trailers, along with everything in between. And. RV manufacturers weren't the only ones exhibiting here. Just about every RV accessory manufacturer was on hand displaying their newest products. Coming up after the break, we'll take a look at what's new for 2014. It all starts with pride. And ends up being the gold standard in pop-up truck campers. Four wheel campers. Need we say more? See for yourself by visiting fourwheelcampers.com. Is your pop-up camper canvas getting a little worse for wear? Don't fret. Just call the friendly folks at Canvas Replacements and their experienced staff will cut and sew you up a new one in no time. Canvas Replacements, your number one source for all your pop-up camper canvas needs. For more information, visit the company website at canvasreplacements.com or call them at 800-232-2079. Welcome back. Okay, let's see. Class A's, pop-up trailers, toy haulers, where shall we start? Well, let's head over to the Winnebago Itasca booth and check out a new small motorhome they just brought out that's based on the Ram Towmaster chassis. Hi, my name is Russ Garfin. I'm the product manager uh, for Winnebago Industries and my products include the Class C's and all of our Class B products. And I'm very excited today to be able to show you our brand new Itasca Viva, also sold on the Winnebago as the Winnebago Trend. It's built on the brand new Ram Promaster chassis built by the Chrysler Corporation here in North America. It's a very exciting front wheel drive product uh, with a V6 gas engine and it also has a six speed automatic transmission and it gets incredible fuel economy and it provides a lot of ergonomic and, and customer feature benefits in the cab that, that I'd like to talk a little bit about. First of all, you're going to notice these large mirrors, big windows that are actually a little bit lower down from the cab, lower windshield, so you're going to have a lot of visibility. It's come standard with all the amenities, including power mirrors, uh, navigation system in the dash. It has a 12-volt uh, Sirius satellite radio subscription included in it. Um, the cab seats, because it's front-wheel drive, they're right at the level of the coach, making a very nice motorhome. Kind of acts like a Class A inside. It has swivel in place cab seats, so you don't even have to get out of the seat. You just grab a lever, swivel the seat around, and you're part of the motorhome. 
So this chassis, uh, we're very excited to be, we've been working on this for over five years at Winnebago Industries. Um, we're very excited to be able to launch it today to you, to our customers. You'll also notice that it has a very wide stance. It has wider frame rails than the typical motorhome chassis. That makes it very stable and resistant to crosswinds, make it a lot more fun to drive as well. On the inside, you're gonna notice uh, that this vehicle is, is very high-end, high-tech, kind of going along with this brand new chassis. We have all LED lighting. We have the latest and greatest in cabinetry and components, all ultra leather furniture inside. And the floor plan, this particular floor plan, has a nice forward-facing dinette. And that forward-facing dinette is the first in, the, in North America to offer three-point shoulder harnesses for your passengers. Typically, you see those in the cab. That's new for us uh, in the motorhome. Um, also in the cab, the, the, the dinette and the, and the side-facing couch fold into a nice sleeping area. And there's a bed, uh, a loft bed over the top that's electric. That comes down, provides another sleeping for two adults. And of course, you have a corner bed, corner bath floor plan here, which provides sleeping for up to six adults. And we have seat belts for six with three-point harnesses for four passengers. Also, on the inside, you're going to find our cabinetry is all um, really nice, lightweight, composite cabinetry that we've imported from Italy, from Technoform. The countertops are also a lightweight laminate that we import from Italy as well. They're very high quality, beautiful look, easy to take care of. And the nice thing about them, uh, the very nice thing about them is that they're never going to delaminate or warp or anything like that. They're made for this type of vehicle. By the way, if you're interested, this six-cylinder beauty averages around 14 to 15 miles per gallon. You can check it out for yourself at your nearest Winnebago Itasca dealer. As you know, some folks just aren't comfortable parking or maneuvering a trailer. What if you could do it remotely? The folks at Truma Corporation have a solution. It's called the Remote Control Trailer Maneuvering System. It operates with individual drives mounted on the trailer wheels. And once you unhitch your trailer, simply use the remote control to park your trailer or move it to another site. The unit can be used on both single and tandem axle trailers. Okay, this may not be for everyone, but if you had one, I'll bet you'd be the center of attention the next time you park your trailer. Oh, by the way, be sure to keep that remote away from the kids. One RV segment that's growing in popularity is toy haulers. And it's hard to walk around anywhere in the show without seeing them. But most of them are trailers and fifth wheels. Thor Motor Coach is one company that still builds Class C toy haulers. And their Outlaw series will fill most anyone's needs. Let's catch up with John Kreider. Thor's Director of Marketing and take a look at the Outlaw 29H. How great would it be if you walked out on your back patio from your motorhome? Well here I am and I'm in our brand new toy hauler called the Outlaw 29H. And you can see I'm standing here on the patio and it's got this nice railing system that goes around to keep you all contained. Um, but this is the perfect multi-utility vehicle. It's not just a toy hauler because yeah I could take my toys with me but I can also take my portable desk with me. I can take um, my, my dog grooming tools if I'm a dog groomer. Or maybe, um, maybe I just wanna have something where uh, when I wanna tailgate or pull up to the ocean, um, I've got a place where I can just park right there at the ocean. And I open it all up and I've got this big, nice area. Well, here I am on this 29H model. I've got this patio back here in the back. I also have this garage area, um, which is perfect not only for the things I've already mentioned, but also it's got a pair of sofas back here that you can option in. So now you can, you've got a place you can, uh, you can sit and you can talk, you can uh, meet with each other. Um, it's also got some cup holders and everything built back here. So it is the ultimate purpose utility vehicle. It's got some cool stuff, like it's got a TV, it's got a Bluetooth radio back here in the back. So now um, you can sync your, uh, your phone or your tablet, and you can sync it with uh, the radio in here and have music playing here and also have music playing on the outside speakers. So there's some really cool features on this. And because this is the Outlaw, this is the only Class A or Class C toy hauler that is a complete lineup. Everybody else out there in the market has pretty much gotten out of the toy hauler market for motorized. Well, we've stayed in it and we've made it a lot better than it's ever been in the past. Now, this 29 inch is built on an E450 chassis. It's our smallest version that we have. So we start here with about a 32 foot model and then we move all the way up to about a 38 foot Class A. So we've got everything in between. 
And with this, this is really bringing the price point down to the Outlaw. This is gonna be um, something that is gonna retail for maybe eighty to $85,000. And so now there's a lot more affordability, so a lot more people can get into this. And as you can tell on the outside, it looks just as great as anything else we build with our HD Max exterior. And then once you go to the interior, you're gonna see how functional you've got the main living space, you've got seating, you've got seat belts, so you've got TVs, you've got a full functioning kitchen, and then of course you have the big overhead cab area, which allows you uh, a big sleeping space up there. So you have multiple sleeping areas in this coach. And it's compact and it's small, and you can bring anything you want to on the road. So if anybody who's in the market for the perfect accomplice to do anything you want with a motorhome, this is it right here in the Outlaw Toy Hauler. Many individuals and couples are looking for smaller trailers to tow behind their minivans and crossovers. Great Western Vans, based in Winnipeg, Manitoba, builds a unique small trailer that's light and efficient and can be towed with virtually anything with four wheels and a motor. Tom Young tells us all about their 2014 Sidekick trailer. Okay, the trailer actually goes back to the late 60s. It was designed called the Trillium and I've now formed a partnership with uh, Great West Vans. Trailers, uh, we feel, are really going to come on strong now in the market with all the small cars and SUVs. Uh, they started around 1,400 pounds for a 13-footer and uh, go up to about uh, 1,900 pounds for a 15-footer. The new model that we've just come up with is a, a front bathroom and shower, and uh, there's very few small trailers that have that that are uh, self-contained in the size and weight range. So we have a little corner toilet and a shower in the center with a little wash basin and uh, it's being introduced here at the Louisville Show. It's built in two halves like a walnut would be, where you, uh, it's one piece fiberglass on the top, one piece fiberglass on the bottom, just like a bathtub, so you have no possibility of water getting into the trailer. And then it's fiberglass joined in the center, so you have a totally seamless body uh, when you're done. Uh, we've got trailers that are on the road now for uh, 40 years, still in very good condition. It's uh, not a Four Seasons trailer, it is a single wall construction. There is insulation, uh, inside the trailer so you can make it quite comfortable into temperatures below freezing. Um, as I said, it's a single wall construction so that's where its lightweight comes from and uh, you can tow it with uh, cars as small as a Jeep, a little Subaru Outback, uh, all the minivans can tow it so we feel it's going to be pretty popular for, uh, uh, for both families and couples. This model sleeps two people, it has a rear dinette uh, with a rather large kitchen, three burner stove, and a, a combination sink with a large 2.8 refrigerator. And of course you can add, uh, as you see here, the awning, uh, furnace, air conditioning, all the normal options that you have in, in a larger trailer. You can get it in a small package like this and still be able to tow it with a small car. Coming up after the break, we'll check out a new truck camper loaded with plenty of new features. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Tom Hannigan, the President and Chief Bottle Washer at Four Wheel Campers. You're watching Rolling On TV. Exciting great things do come in small packages, like exceptional quality, extreme comfort, and luxurious appointments. You'll find all this and more wrapped up in one beautiful package, the Pleasure Way Pursuit. See for yourself by visiting PleasureWay.com. Weight distribution comes out of the Stone Age. Steel on steel friction is 50 years old. The Sway Pro makes other weight distributing hitches seem, well, prehistoric. The Sway Pro features a softer ride, built-in optimized sway prevention, quiet backing and turning, and little maintenance. Finally, intelligent engineering gives you a much better way to prevent sway and smooth your ride. Why trust an amateur when you can go with a pro? Sway Pro. We'll get right to the new Palomino truck camper, but first, have you ever wished you could tell how much propane was left in your tank? Well, now you can with this handy tool from Truma, the same inventive folks that created the remote trailer mover. This is the Truma level check and it measures the amount of liquid gas in an LP tank. Um, so what you do is just, this has a LED flashlight that you can simply turn on and off just for convenience for the customer. 
Then you take the level check and you, you press the black button against the tank. And if you get a red reading, it means there is no liquid in, the in that area of the tank. If you get a green reading, it means that there is liquid in that area. So you, you press it against the tank and I get a, green a red reading, which means there's nothing there. Now it's green, so that tells me there's some liquid in that area. And it does flash for a little while to get, until it gets the reading. And it's green and green there and red. So I know that the liquid in the tank is at the level right here where, it, where it's green. So it uses ultrasound technology and measures the, the amount of space in the tank and if there's any liquid in that area of the tank. The retail price for the level check is $69.99 and you can get that at www.levelcheck.com. In case you're wondering, the level check gauge will work at any temperature. This is definitely a must-have if you don't have a built-in gauge. Truck campers are getting more and more like travel trailers with multiple slide-outs and luxury conveniences. And a perfect example is the new model built by Palomino. And to tell us all about it is Pat Hines. We're here standing in front of the brand new 2014 Palomino Hardside Max HS2911 truck camper model. This is a brand new model that we're introducing here at Louisville. It's got some nice significant features uh, exclusive to Palomino. It's a six-sided aluminum framed vacuum bonded constructed truck camper. It's got a full four season basement, has uh, dual slides, a uh, full wall slide as well as a kitchen slide in the unit. It's, we're introducing our Palomino landing pad bumper as well, which we partnered with Torque Lift to introduce the bumper. It's been very well received. It's got some storage in it. Um, holes for plug-in accessories, LED tail lights built into the bumper, uh, adjustable uh, step mounting positions. Uh, also this camper features our Elite package option, which includes the uh, standard rear awning with LED light strip built in, a backup camera, which is wireless, so you can use that both in the cab of your truck and in the camper as a security system or a video camera security system. A motion sensor backup light, solid surface countertops, line X protection for the undercarriage of the camper itself, uh, as well as a, a few other features that are very nice and very unique to Palomino. Okay. This is a unique floor plan as in it's an imposing double slide unit, so you get a nice open feel in the living area of the camper. It's a 10 foot floor camper and features the double slides, as I said before. Um, also inside, we have a nice couple's dinette, which also folds down for additional sleeping, a 60 by 80 queen size bed up in the cab over area, some nice hanging closet storage up in the cab over bed area, a six cubic foot refrigerator, a three burner stove with a uh, oven, as well as flush mount stainless steel sinks with uh, solid surface countertop insert covers. The uh, HS Max 2911 also includes a 12 volt LED TV standard as well as a 5.1 surround sound system with a Jensen stereo CD, DVD, uh, AM, FM player inside the camper. Um, some of the other nice features are the dual reading lights on either side of the bed, dual power points on either side of the bed, as well as just a spacious living quarters for a truck camper model. Speaking of truck campers, not all truck campers are designed for pickups. Coming up after the break, we join Jeff Johnston as he visits four-wheel campers and checks out a new flatbed truck camper. Whatever road you take, no matter what adventure you choose, equip yourself for the journey. Load up on family fun. Find your perfect RV. Visit your local Jayco dealership to get in on generations of family fun. Our friends at Four Wheel Pop-Up Campers dropped a few hints about an exciting new product they had in the works. So we stopped by the factory to nose around a bit and see what we could dig up. 
After enjoying some time and maybe dreaming a little bit in the company's beautiful new showroom at its Woodland, California location, we sat down with the man <coughs> to learn more about the new product. Four Wheel Campers has been making flatbed campers for a number of years for export markets. Now we've sent them to Australia, we've sent them to Europe, but we had a need in America for the flatbed camper as well as a result of requests from customers and potential customers. Why don't you make a flatbed camper? So we did, simple as that. Now what we had to do with this is we had to figure out a way to work with a different expanse of floor to work with. So what we did was we worked with one of our dealers who brought in an Australian flatbed, worked on the dimensions, and then figured out, well, now that we've got this, how can we put all the usual things that we put in a camper into the flatbed? A little bit of a challenge, but it worked out very well. So basically what we did was instead of using a side dinette or a front dinette, we actually worked on a rear dinette, the back of the camper, with a side door, and then we worked all the other appliances in around in the front of the camper so that we actually have a better weight distribution. More weight in the front, lower down, and less weight in the back where the seating is. Works out perfectly. We've built for the Toyota Tacoma and these other mid-sized trucks, but we're also designing and, and in fact, we're actually building um, uh, a new full-size long bed, flat bed camper for Australia. It's coming up on the line very soon. The flatbed camper will be available uh, domestically, meaning in North America. Uh, we're actually taking orders for them now, and if you have a request, we'll certainly work with you on it and uh, have the campers available for most any kind of a truck stateside. When I say most any kind of a truck, we're talking about the newer mid-sized trucks like the Toyota Tacoma, the Nissan Frontier, uh, the Dodge Dakota, and of course we're building for the full-size trucks as well. The, uh, the long bed and the short bed, Ford F-150s, Silverados, 1500s, the Dodge 1500s, and so on. Remember, it's, it's, it's wise to recall here that you don't have to have a big truck for a four-wheel camper. Yes, we build for the mid-sized trucks, and yes, we build for the half tons. Not just the three-quarter and the one tons, but most definitely the half tons and smaller. Regarding how the camper is actually built, the, uh, we haven't added exterior storage in this particular iteration, in this particular design. What we have done is we've relocated the appliances and the, and the cabinetry so that you end up with more storage inside. So you have more storage underneath the seats especially, and you also have a, quite a fair amount of storage in the kitchen cabinetry as well as in the front of the camper as well. Thanks, Tom. The new flatbed camper looks like an interesting alternative for RVers with flatbed trucks. For more information, log on to our website at rollingontv.com. For more information on anything you saw on this week's show, along with additional videos and stories, visit our website at rollingontv.com. For the latest up-to-the-minute RV news, visit our media partners at rvbusiness.com. If you're into RVing or just appreciate vintage vehicles, be sure to set your GPS for the RV MH Hall of Fame in Elkhart, Indiana. This museum houses the largest collection of vintage RVs and trailers dating as far back as 1916. For more information, visit their website at rvmhhalloffame.org.